Hey guys, what's up? It's me again, Chef. Welcome back to my channel. It's the beginning of June. You know what that means for all of us. Happy Pride to all of you guys watching. I want to greet you wholeheartedly. You know, for, for everyone out there who is out and proud, kudos to you. And this month is for you to celebrate and be gay and happy. And for everyone who hasn't really had the courage to come out yet. I feel you and I want you to know that you don't necessarily have to do anything if you don't feel like it, if you're not ready. Just make sure that you are taking care of yourself. Make sure that you know that whoever you are and whatever, whatever you do is okay. And it's okay. And it's gonna be okay. And you should know that your happiness is important. In fact, it's the most important thing that you should have and maintain in your life. That goes to me as well, even though, as you know, I'm already out and proud. But in other aspects of my life, I also want to tell myself that my happiness, my thoughts, my feelings, my self also deserves some limelight. Also deserves to breathe and be and thrive and flourish. I wanted to tell you a story. Usually people would, um, during Pride Month, will tell you about their coming out story. That's not me. My coming out story is not really a story. I think it's a novel because it's a long time coming. It's gradual and there's, n there's nothing fantastic to it. I don't know. It's not really a coming out story, but more of a coming to be story where me realizing that I was gay came from a moment of a uh, quarter life crisis in my life. Those things happen, those things exist. Not just midlife crisis, but quarter life crisis because um, it just came to a point when I turned 22 that I realized that I'm not a kid anymore, I'm not a teenager anymore, and I'm already an adult. There's no more excuse because when you were 18, even though legally you're an adult, you can you can, you're still a teenager, you can still pretend to be a kid or be a teenager. When you're 19, you sort of feel the same as when you're 18. When you're 20, it still feels the same. 21, yeah, it's, it's sort of coming to you, but still not quite. But then, when you reach 22, there's no denying anymore. <laughs> You know, you're, you're already midway into the halfway of your 20s and 22 is such a very decisive number. And basically what I thought is that since I'm already an adult now, most likely who I am, who I'm with, who I was sort of becoming would, would encompass what would my life would be for the rest of my life. And at that time, I was in a straight relationship. A good straight relationship, if I may add. I mean, there's nothing wrong with with that relationship, honestly. But um, deep down, I know that something's not quite right. And when I hit this quarter life crisis era, honestly, the thought of me being the same way and being with who I was with scared me. And if it doesn't feel right. No offense to the, the person that I was with at the time. I mean, there was really nothing wrong with that relationship. It was, it was all me. Because of that realization that, you know, the future scared me so much and I felt like, and I felt trapped and I felt like I was in a cage wanting to get out because it doesn't feel right to me. That's when I broke off with that relationship and that was also the time that I, I don't have any work. I was unemployed for quite some time and that was around the time that I bummed around in the house just watching series after series and listening to sappy music and just thinking and moping around. So at that point, I, I don't really know what's coming over to me or what's happening to me. I don't know why I was so scared about the thought of being in this relationship, albeit heterosexual. It doesn't matter at that point. It didn't, I didn't know what that means for me at that point. But just the thought of me getting married and having children in that context just really scared me. And I just felt trapped and caged and I wanted to get out. So what was, what was the moment that I realized that I was gay? It was actually a funny story. I was watching Lord of the Rings, Two Towers. So I, I watch it all the time. I watch it over and over and over. So this one night that I was watching it, there was this scene where Eowyn, you know, the blonde girl who's not Arwen, you know, she, she, she has a crush on Aragorn and she was trying to talk to him and maybe flirt with him and try to engage him into conversations and all that. And Aragorn was all like, oh, okay, all right, sure. But you know, he, he doesn't like her and he's like pushing her aside. And there was this one scene where they were sitting by their horses, but there was this moment where this girl 
was looking at this guy and she was so enamored with him. She was looking at him so wistfully and so longingly that I clearly heard this thought in my head that said, man, if that girl was looking at me like that, I would be in heaven. I remember being frozen on the spot after realizing those thoughts and I realized that at the back of my head, not all the time, but you know, now that I've had the time to to think, to, to go away or distance myself from everything that I used to associate myself with at the time, these thoughts were surfacing from my mind and and I need to discover it. I need to, to, to explore it more. Immediately after that, I went up to my room, dialed my best friend's number, and my best friend is actually a butch lesbian as well. She's always has been ever since I met her. And we've always been close. I wonder why. <laughs> now you know. I p picked up the phone and told her. And that's where it all started. That's where it all began. So I guess it's sort of my coming out story. Because the first person that I came out to would be my best friend, right? Yeah. So that's my coming out story. There are more, actually, to this story. Because... Even though I already spoke to someone about it, it's not like I changed drastically overnight. It's not like everything fell into place. I was still in a state of confusion. It was still a few months of pondering and wondering and um, trying to come to terms with this realization and trying to decide whether or not am I going to listen to these thoughts in my head, this, these feelings that I'm starting to have and whether or not I would have and whether or not I would have the courage to actually explore these thoughts. That's my little tidbit for you. The person who made me realize that I was gay was actually some fictional characters from Lord of the Rings. How about you? <laughs> Once again, this has been Chef. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.